topic of this seminar is inflammatory disorders of the central nervous system of dogs, with a particular emphasis on steroid-responsive meningitis arteritis. And as a general outline, what I hope to accomplish is to provide you an overview of inflammatory conditions of the central nervous system in general. And I will spend a little bit of time talking about the most common inflammatory central nervous system we see in dogs called meningoencephalitis of unknown etiology, or MUE. The focus of the presentation, the um, predominant disease I'll talk about is steroid-responsive meningitis arteritis. And we will discuss the clinical signs, method of diagnosis, treatment, and then expected outcome with that disorder. So to start just with some general information and definition, so the central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord, and both of those structures are surrounded by a fibrous tissue called the meninges. Beneath the meninges is where the cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF, resides. When we have inflammation of the brain, it is called encephalitis. When we have inflammation of the spinal cord, it is called myelitis, and then inflammation of the meninges is meningitis. And each of those can occur individually or in combination. For example, if we had inflammation of all three elements, it would be called meningoencephalomyelitis. With respect to the causes of inflammatory neurologic disease in dogs, we tend to break it into infectious and non-infectious causes. But in reality, infectious causes of inflammatory CNS disease are a very small component of what we deal with in our dog population. And the most common thing that we see, or the most common category of disease that we see, are the non-infectious causes. And this is a group of disorders, but they are believed to be immune-mediated in origin. And these are the disorders, the immune-mediated, non-infectious disorders, is what I'm going to focus on for this presentation.